So for today, we're going to be looking at the lucky pants I got asked for with a bunch of other exotics, which you can do. You can ask for more than just one exotic. But yeah, we're going to be looking at those exotics in the future videos. But for this one, lucky pants is going to be the main course. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and subscribe, that'd be very much appreciated. Obviously, only if you like the video, uh, likes, everything, share it with your homies. But let's just get into it so lucky pants is probably one of my favorite exotics look wise for the hunters just because it fits the hunter so well uh we, we, we're known for having a hand cannon we're known for like the draw thing so these boots are really really thematic to the hunters and i think when i think of a hunter i think of specifically lucky pants i know a few other people would probably say uh stompies which is fair but for me lucky pants is like the epitome of hunter so for the base look of the lucky pants it's pretty cool my only gripe with it is on the actual boots themselves you'll see like the speck of dirt or paint that's unfortunately unshaderable so you're gonna just have to deal with that there are a few shaders that have kind of like a discoloration specifically year three uh dead orbit shader that one's pretty good but other than that, it's it's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. As for how it shaders, again, the speckling on the boots themselves are most likely gonna stay there. So you're gonna wanna go with a shader that can either mask that or outright ignore it. And thankfully for the pants, the speckling, the like discoloration is actually shaderable, thankfully. Uh, for the unshaderable pieces, cause there is like a few you guys will see on the side i'm currently showing you an echo anger right now there is like this orange straps and the orange like buckle not buckle what's it called the the thing at the back of the hit the the heel that doesn't change color so you're gonna have to be aware that the fact that it doesn't change color it's always gonna be orange to be fair though i never wear uh i never wear lucky pants specifically the base look anymore i think the the first ornament that i got is the superior one uh but we'll talk about that when we're done with this one for the example set i actually made a very typical hunter because to be quite honest the base look of of lucky pants and the first ornament are so interchangeable that you guys will see what i'm talking about this one i'm using the illicit collector mask because i wanted a white glow the Lux sleeves because I usually pair that with the prodigal vest. I think those two pair really well together. And then for the cloak, we're using the Neoterra Kiat cloak. For my longtime viewers, you guys will know that this is like a bread and butter look for my hunter. Like I always do this for a lot of looks. So most people would probably be like, you're cheating. At this point, like I said, it's so interchangeable. The base look of Lucky Pants and the first ornament that you could really pair the second example set with just the base look which is why i'm not really too worried about using these pieces because these are a lot of pieces that i wear a lot but again i still love this set it's probably one of my more favorite looks for the lucky pants because you just look like a hunter like i love it you could probably switch out the helmet for something else if you want but i like the illicit collector because it, it, the bandana also really lends itself to the cowboy look uh, for the first ornament, we're going to be looking at the deep pockets. This one legitimately is my favorite looking uh, ornament, probably in the game, because it it not only maintains the look of the actual exotic, but it elevates it even more because now it actually shaders way better. Don't get me wrong. The thing behind the, the heel of the foot, that still doesn't change color. It's still going to be orange. But everything else damn near changes color. And that's the important part. Uh, again, there are pieces that don't change color, but they're so small that I don't really care, to be quite honest. Uh, right below the, the gun belt or the bullet belt and on the side of the thigh where the actual like gun holster is at, those little orange pieces do act actually don't change color. And I think if I remember correctly, there's some in the back as well. So that's the only pieces that really don't change color aside from the 
the thing on the back of the leg that's also does that orange doesn't change color but everything else changes color and it's really good i really like how this exotic chain or this ornament takes shaders it takes it really really well as for the example set this is what i made to be fair i have made this look for my hunter multiple times and i actually switched it out so for the helmet we're using the refugee mask because i really like the fact that it it's it just has cloth there's almost no armor on this aside from the goggles for the arms we're using the gumshoe gumption grips because i really like that it it fits really well in my opinion I didn't want anything too crazy for the arms. I didn't want any armor because I want this set just to be cloth. And the gum, gumshoe gumption is really good because everything essentially is cloth aside from maybe the shoulder pads. Maybe that's leather because that's definitely not armor. For the chest piece, we're using the Lux vest chest piece because, again, I'm trying to go for a pure cloth look. For the boots, obviously, we're using the deep pockets ornament. But for the cloak, we're using the Renegade Hood. So this is where it's a little weird because I traditionally pair this, this ornament with an actual cloak. But I'll probably show you the example set, like the actual one that I've made for this look right now. Just to show you a, a side by side. I really like the, the white one though because the Hunter Insignia on the back is really cool. And I really wanted to showcase that. But... If you really do want to showcase the hunter uh, insignia but also have a cloak then the one on the right side is way better for that so this is definitely one of my favorite looks for my hunter uh, if you ever see me wearing lucky pants most likely i will be rocking some variation of these two and again because the deep pockets and the base look of lucky pants is so interchangeable you can even combine pieces from the first example set for the base look again you could be using the Pro prodigal vest or the lux sleeves or the illicit collector mask or even the neoteric cloak with a combination of the second uh example set and the other one that i have right now so Again, this one is is much more of a flex piece for me because I can I can really go crazy and just combine so many different pieces with it, which is why it's one of my favorite exotics in the game because I really just go wild with it. I just immediately go ham and just start doing whatever I want. And it's just gonna look good because the exotic is so good looking. So the last ornament we're gonna be looking at is the Fortunate Beast. This one got introduced this season and if you missed out, I feel bad for you because this shit is fire. Uh, obviously, it has a cowboy meets cabal, which I think is fucking cool. Legitimately, one of the coolest looks in the game right now. I'm really happy that the Lucky Pants has really good ornaments because the base look is pretty bad, in my opinion. The, the speckling at the bottom, the overuse of orange, like overall, the ornaments have really elevated this exotic to levels that I didn't think I would love because this ornament let me tell you guys not only does it shader well but it shaders everything the the weird the cuff at the back that changes color there is no color that does not change color which is very important because this exotic is so detailed and so like heavy on theme that if you if you stifled me with a shader that did or a piece that didn't change color i would have been really mad as for the example set this one is a little weird I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think it's still a little weird, but I still love it. I ended up going with a Cabal Scion that thinks he's a cowboy look. So for the helmet, Psionic Stalker Mask, this is a given. I wanted it to be a Scion. I wanted this look to be a Scion that becomes a either a hunter or a cowboy or a gunslinger, either or pick your poison. But for me, the Psionic Stalker was immediately like, i already knew i was going to use that for the arms we're using the vanguard dare grips specifically because i really like how the shoulder kind of wanes out so i think i think that's personally really cool for the chest piece we're using the robo raptor ch chassis because i really like the abs the abs really lends itself to the scales for the fortunate beast i think that looks really cool and then for the cloak, we're using Canis Luna cloak because I love the fur, honestly. Like this cloak is such a such a cheat for me because I just use it on so much. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like the Fortunate Beast. This is probably one of my more favorite ones. For the shader, we're using the Crucible of Metallic. This is a shader I have not used in forever. It's definitely one of my favorite shaders. It's just so hard to use this shader effectively because it could look bad if you're not careful. Uh, for the helmet, we're using the Midnight Smith because I really like the texture that the Midnight Smith has for the jaw. Because if you use Crucible Metallic, it's a little bit, it's not the best for it. It turns the red hood into black and then the jaw is actually red and I didn't like that color combination. So I, in, I inverted it essentially. And then for the cloak, we have Abyssinian Gold so that way I can have pure red or pure black. I was thinking about going for pure red, but I think there's enough red on this that I don't want to over, I don't want to overuse red with this. So I decided to go with black. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Lucky Pants for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. I had a lot of fun doing this one because Lucky Pants is one of my favorite exotics look wise. And I already knew what I was going to go with. Again, I do apologize if there's some people who are kind of annoyed that, of the fact that I used a lot of pieces for the first set that I use on a lot of things. But again, it's more so of a. It's so interchangeable with the first like the first and second looks are so interchangeable that you can really go wild with it uh you can do a cloth only look you can do a minimal armor look you can do a full armor look i don't think that one would look good because again there is essentially no armor for the base look and then for the uh for the ornament there, there's actually almost no armor if any i don't think there's any armor for the base look, there is like two plates in the in both legs, but other than that, there's nothing else. You could you could probably go and stretch it, be like, well, the the gun holder is armor, I guess. But again, for the first and second look, you can just interchange so many of things of them that you can probably make something super dope with just randomizing what I already have. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will have some more videos out for you guys. I currently am working on path of the burning steps and no backup plan and then after that i'm probably going to do a warlock exotic because i've been doing a lot of war uh, titan and hunter so warlocks you guys are going to be up next after no backup plan and then after that maybe a hunter one but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see a certain exotic a theme or a certain armor piece let me know in the comments below i'll definitely do that video but be safe and i'll see you guys later